Greetings, esteemed stakeholders, educators, and concerned citizens. Today, I stand before you to address a critical issue that demands our attention and action, quality early childhood education. In our pursuit of creating a better future, we cannot afford to neglect the foundation upon which it is built, early childhood education. The current issue I am passionate about is the persistent lack of equitable access to quality early childhood education for all children. I firmly stand for the belief that every child, regardless of their social economic background, deserves access to high quality early education. This is not just a matter of fairness. It is an investment in the future well-being of our society. Who are the key stakeholders in this issue? It's not just educators and parents. It's policymakers, community leaders, and all of us who share a responsibility for shaping the environment in which our children grow and learn. So what can we do to address this issue? We must advocate for increased funding and resources for early childhood education programs. This includes supporting initiatives that prioritize professional development for early childhood educators, ensuring that they are equipped with the latest research-based practices. Quality early childhood education is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Research constantly shows that investing in the early years yields lifelong benefits. It's not just about academic readiness. It's about fostering social emotional development and instilling a love for learning. To achieve our goal, we must collaborate with agencies like the National Association for the Education of Young Children and other advocacy groups committed to promoting the rights and well being of our children. In conclusion, Miriam Wright Edelman's words resonate powerfully. If we don't stand up for children, then we don't stand for much. Let us unite in this cause, advocating for quality early childhood education that sets the stage for a brighter, more equitable future for all. For more information, I encourage you to explore the scholarly resources I have provided in the description below. Thank you for your attention and commitment to the well-being of our youngest learners.